It's me, Nicole Ashley. I wanted to record a video for you. Um, just going deeper into the kind of like overarching theme of fear that we talked about in my most recent yoga class. If you haven't checked out that yoga flow, definitely do so um, because it really opened up a lot in me and I think a lot of us like almost don't want to admit our fears because of our ego, you know, I know if I'm you know, in fear of something that means that it has power over me which means that I'm weaker than it and our ego doesn't like to admit you know our weaknesses like that but I kind of feel like there's actually a deep power in admitting our um our fears to ourselves because whether we admit it or not if we're feeling fear we're feeling fear and there's nothing that like denying it will help so we might as well just like admit it and kind of like allow that to um accept ourselves on a deeper level like fear isn't you know something that means oh my gosh like i'm i'm a bad person or i'm doing something wrong <laughs> like it's a very normal human emotion so um i feel like the more that we can admit our truths to ourselves and express our inner emotions um in a really like real and authentic way um the less energy we have to spend on consciously denying ourselves of our truth and um in that admittance of that fear to ourselves it kind of like opens up that like oh okay okay um this is where I am right now and the only way that we could actually move forward in our journey um you know point a to point b is knowing where we are in point a um you know it's like if we're using gps to get somewhere we can't just like you know put it in the gps like we have to put where we are also or you know obviously it does that for us most of the time but if we didn't know where we are then we wouldn't be able to get where we're going so um, just to practice and accepting ourselves and accepting um, all of our emotions and our humanness because uh, the more that we accept ourselves the more accepting we can be of others around us and I just think it would be such a beautiful world if we all just accepted ourselves and the people around us so just like a little thought for the day um, let me know if it resonates with you and if um you know the reason why i like made the yoga flow was because i was actually like fearful of a specific event that was like coming up in my life like in the future and now as i'm recording this um hindsight video and now that i've like edited the uh yoga flow you know looking back on that thing that i was afraid of um, it turned out to be not so scary after all, which is always like, I feel like the job of the mind and the ego, it kind of like makes things more scary and makes us maybe feel more fear than, um, we need to in order to protect us, right? Um, it's definitely a, like a protective mechanism of our mind. Um, but I think if you're feeling fear for like a specific event, just kind of like remind yourself that because most of the time it's not as bad as we think it will be. Like even like, you know, if you as something like as like marginal as like a big pile of laundry and you're like, oh my God, like the laundry, it's the, I don't want to do the laundry. And then when you do it, you're like, okay, that literally took like 10 minutes. Like why, you know, why was I so like, about it but I feel like yeah our mind just does things to make things bigger than they seem um and it's okay you know it's just like a practice and learning and loving ourselves even more um and if you're kind of like it was so interesting because as I like moved past that like event that I was fearing um some more kind of like unconscious like deeper fears started emerging um like fear of abandonment and like those more like really kind of like 
unseen kind of like you know things that we don't want to think about so if that's something that you're going through like those really like unconscious fears that's something that you're working through um i'm right there with you <laughs> just keep breathing and i'll make more yoga flows for those like deeper darker fears but definitely the one that i just recorded and posted yesterday is a good place to start um journaling also definitely helps and i personally love burn ceremonies uh specifically during the full moon phase uh because that's like a really great time to let go so just some ideas some inspiration um if you're going through those more like unconscious subconscious kind of like deep seated things um you're allowed to let those go too and you know maybe it doesn't happen all at once and it, it probably won't to be honest right but um the more that we kind of like like breathe into it and accept that um the the more layers that we can shed in those fears and again um the, what's the benefit in shedding fear just to release the energy right release our energy because you know times that we wake up and we still feel tired like that's not normal like we're not supposed to feel that way it's because we're like going through so much that like our energy is going into all different places so um the purpose of releasing fears Um, the purpose of releasing our fears is to give us more of our energy back, you know, take our power back and um, feel more like grounded in the present moment, grounded in the truth of our being, right? Because that's like, I guess, I don't know, I feel like the spiritual journey is always like getting back to truth, getting back to like who we truly are, not who we were conditioned to be, not who we, you know, were raised to be, not who um, our parents like, you know, caused us to be like, we're breaking through all of those chains, breaking through all those fears and those unconscious beliefs to become who we truly are. So I'll leave you with that. Um, let me know in the comments below what resonates, what you're going through. If you want to see more yoga flows on a specific item, I'd love to make them for you. Um, yeah, and other than that, I hope you have an amazing day. It is the beginning of spring, so I'm really happy to be refreshing our energy. And if you're watching this in a different season, it's always an opportunity to refresh, restart, rebirth. You know, every day is a new chance to breathe and become something new. So, sending lots of love and blessings your way. Namaste.